Welcome back to the Tax Equity Modeling course. Today, we will model Investment Tax Credit, or ITC. ITC is a tax credit that is dependent on the project costs. So, you will get the tax credit from the government as a certain percentage of the project costs. However, not all the project costs can be eligible for ITC, and typically, you determine the costs which are eligible for ITC with your tax advisor. In this course, we will assume that 80% of the project costs are eligible for ITC. Another thing to note is that when using the ITC, which is typically for solar projects, we also have to figure out the taxable basis reduction. And taxable basis means the capitalized project costs that are used to calculate the tax depreciation expense. In other words, it is basically PP&E for the tax purpose. So, we have to reduce the PP&E for the tax purpose by 50% of the ITC amount. For the qualified capex, we will be using an assumption of 120 million. And then, the percentage of the cost eligible for ITC is 80%. This cost of 80% is an assumption in this course, and in real solar projects, it ranges anywhere from 75 to 90%. So, the ITC eligible cost is qualified capex times the percentage of the cost eligible for ITC. And, the ITC itself is 30% for the project which started construction in 2018. So, we will have to bring the ITC eligible costs over here from row 204. Copy the cell D204 and paste the link to the cell D207 with Alt HVN. Then, press F2 and F4. Copy across and paste and let's copy the formatting of row 204. So, select the whole row 204, copy it, go back to the destination row 207, select it, and paste the formatting with Alt-ES. Select Formats. And, the ITC amount is ITC percentage in the cell E206, times the ITC eligible costs in the cell 207. So, this is the ITC amount that we can use to offset our taxes payable, which is $28.8 million, and we can claim this ITC amount in the first period when the facility is placed into service, which means in the first operations quarter. Next is ITC taxable basis reduction, which is 50%. In other words, we have to reduce the PP&E for the tax purpose by 50% of the ITC amount. Let's now bring the ITC amount from row 208. So copy the cell D208 and paste the link to the cell D211 with Alt HVN. Then F2 and F4. Copy across and paste. And we will need the formatting of row 208. So let's select the whole row and copy the formatting with Format Painter and paste the formats to row 211. The ITC taxable basis reduction amount is 50% in the cell E210 times the ITC amount in the cell E211. Now that we've completed modeling the ITC amount, we can model the ITC earned. In other words, we model the timing of the ITC credit. When are we going to get to claim the ITC? The ITC amount we can bring from row 211. Copy the whole row and paste it to row 214. And then, we will need the operation start flag, which we have on this worksheet in the revenue calculation block. Let's go to the revenue calculation block, and the operation start flag is in row 36. Copy the whole row, 
and paste it to row 215. And we can get rid of the grouping on the left by pressing Alt A U U. And the ITC earned is ITC amount in the cell E214. Anchor it times the operation start flag. And, as you can see, we will be claiming the ITC in the first operations period. Next, we will have to model the tax credits, and we will introduce a switch, which will take the value of 1 for PTC and 2 for ITC. So, if we want to select PTC, we will enter 1, otherwise 2, and select ITC. We need this tax credit switch because it provides some flexibility with respect to the tax credits. This is because both wind and solar projects can elect to use PTC or ITC. Next, we will have to bring here the PTC and ITC earned. PTC earned we modeled in row 199. So, let's copy the cell D199 and paste the link to the cell D220. And the ITC earned we modeled in row 216. So, copy the cell D216 and paste the link to the cell D221. Select the whole row 216 and copy the formats with Formats Painter and paste the formats to rows 220 and 221. And to model the tax generated by the project, we will use the if function. So, if the tax credit switch in the cell E219, anchor it, is equal to 1, we want the PTC, otherwise ITC. Now that we modeled the tax credits, we can work on the depreciable basis reduction for tax purpose. First, we will need our tax credit switch. So, let's select and copy the whole row 219 and paste it to the row 225. Then, we will need the ITC taxable basis reduction amount that we modeled in row 212. Copy the cell D212 and paste the link to the cell D226 with Alt HVN. Copy across and paste. Let's copy the formatting of row 212 with Format Painter and paste it to row 226. The operation start flag we can bring from row 215. So, to model the ITC taxable basis reduction, we will use if function. So, if the switch in the cell E225, anchor it, is equal to 1, then we want 0. Otherwise, cell E226, anchor it, times the operation start flag. And here, we can take the sum of the ITC taxable basis reduction that we have just modeled. We can change the tax credit switch to 2, so ITC tax credit kicks in. And, we can copy the cell D228, go to the tax depreciation calculation block, and paste the link to the cell D148.
Let's now copy the cell D229 and paste the link to the cell D169. So, the adjusted PP&E is PP&E value in the cell E168, less the ITC taxable basis reduction. We can now link the adjusted PP&E to row 172, which is tax depreciation expense calculation block. We can check now if our PP&E for tax purpose goes to zero, and indeed it is going to zero, so we modeled the ITC basis reduction correctly. The impact of the ITC on the PP&E for tax purpose is that it reduces the PP&E and therefore reduces the tax depreciation expense as well, which in turn increases the EBT for tax purpose. We have now completed modeling the tax credits, so now we can group the items in the tax credits so it is easier to navigate through the model. Select the rows from 184 to 229 and then press Alt A G G. So we've got grouping and we can now close our tax credits.